Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show, specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. Welcome to a brand new week of This Week in Crowder College right here on 91.7 FM. Adam Winkler here with you, joined by Dr. Philip Witt. He is the Vice President of Career and Technical Education out there at Crowder College. And Philip, thanks for being with us. You bet. Thanks for having me. Well, February is National Career and Technical Education Month. And uh, tell us all about that and some of the great things that are going on in the career and tech ed programs. So Career and Technical Education Month is celebrated annually in, in February to recognize the work that career tech ed programs and students are doing all across the country. And so we're really excited to highlight some of the things that are happening here at Crowder College, both with our high school programs and our college programs for career and technical education. Well, if you could maybe explain uh, what the career and technical education classes or courses are for those who, who might not understand what that means. Yeah, Career and Technical Education, or CTE, as we like to kind of call it for short, uh, are programs that uh, involve kind of occupational type training programs. You know, the traditional vocational education model um, is really kind of evolved into what we like to call Career and Technical Education, which ranges everything from agriculture uh, programs and degrees to healthcare, uh, transportation. Uh, you name it. We offer those programs here um, at Crowder College, both at Neosho and at our uh, Joplin Advanced Training Technology Center campus. So we've got programs for high school students um, that are um, that are still in high school and, and working um, maybe towards a specific career or for college students that have uh, have completed and want to go on and, and either develop new skills or work towards a degree in a career and technical education field. Well, you guys on the Neosho campus house everything out of the Dell Reed Center. So tell us about the Dell Reed Center and some of the uh, uh, cool things that are going on there. And I understand you guys also have a building project going on. Yeah, the Dell Reed Center has been uh, the home for career and technical education at Crowder College since the early 70s. And it uh, has been a, a great vehicle for students to, to come and learn skills in the trades um, and go on to great careers. And so we're really excited to kind of talk about that during uh, CT month. We've got some great expansions that are happening, uh, some updates as well. So our, our collegiate automotive technology program has recently uh, received a, a nice upgrade with a, a new classroom space and uh, some wonderful upgrades to the lab in, in terms of tooling and, and facilities improvement. So we're super excited for those students and the, the benefit it's going to have on that program. Uh, and we also recently broke ground a couple of weeks ago on a expansion to the south side of the Del Reed Technical Center um, that's going to house a new career uh, construction technology program for our college students. In addition to kind of creating a, a updated formal entrance there on the south side uh, where students and parents um, will, can come and, and learn more about career and technical education. So we're really excited for both those um, big projects that are happening. Well, you keep mentioning the high school students. So how do high school students get involved in the CTE program? Yeah, our, our high school students come from um, what we like to call our, our sending schools. Across the state of Missouri, there are 54 career centers that serve high school students. And we are very fortunate here at Crowder to have one of those centers that serves uh, five school districts here in southwest Missouri. So uh, students from, from Diamond, East Newton, Seneca, McDonald County, and Neosho uh, so high schools all have the opportunity to come and take classes with us here at Crowder College as part of their school day. And uh, we love that February is CTE month because this is also when we're out really trying to spread the news about the opportunities that exist within the, the high school CTE programs and encourage students to consider that, you know, as they're making decisions about their uh, class schedule um, and maybe, you know, future career choices right now while they're, while they're in high school and have an opportunity to come take advantage of these programs. And what are some of those CTE programs that you guys offer that uh, kids like to get involved with? Yeah, we've got some some really great programs uh, in the trades that oftentimes incorporate uh, skills that many don't traditionally think of as as you know trades programs. Um, some of our most popular programs are in healthcare, uh, where students can earn um, a CNA or a 
certificate in addition to some other credentials. Uh, we also have um, programs like uh, computer networking where students can, can develop a lot of skills there in addition to to coding and some of these other skills that are very valuable in today's workforce and some of the more traditional ones that you would think of when you think of career training, um, like our skill technical programs, which are construction or automotive, you know, welding, diesel mechanics. Uh, and we're really excited to be adding a a high school level truck driving program uh, next year, which will be a new program and one of the first in the state of Missouri. Well, that that's amazing. And that's really cool for the, the students in this area. As you mentioned, the those five high schools get to be a part of that. And uh, if there's high school students or uh, people out there who are interested in getting involved in the CTE program out there at Crowder College, what's the best way for them to get in contact with you? Sure. They can easily find us on our website, uh, crowder.edu, uh, and can can navigate towards the career and technical education programs. Um, they can find us also at uh, a new site called Choose CTE. It's something that we're launching this month just to help promote career and technical education program across Southwest Missouri. Um, like I said, we're one of 54 career centers. There's a lot of opportunities out there. So you know, listeners that may be from other parts of the state as well um, have those opportunities, which we're you know always excited to promote. Well, Philip, a lot of great information, great work by you guys out there at Crowder College and the CTE program. And thanks for your time on This Week in Crowder College. You bet. It was a pleasure. Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the law offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM.